So Gina Carano has been fired from Star Wars, and this is probably the only video that I'll be doing about it. I'm not sure if Billy will be doing a video on it, but probably not because we try not uh, we try not to fix it on one issue uh, for very long. But I feel like we need to do at least one video um, on the Gina Carano situation right now because that's the big thing as it should be. Let's start by going back a couple months to talk about where uh, where the whole controversy started. Um, as you know, well, in terms of politics, there have been some strange things going on recently, and Gina Carano had a slightly different opinion than other people. Uh, I'm not going to try to go very in-depth with this, but she was considered to be kind of a wacko, and that's where Disney started to become worried about her, uh, and because they were, I'm sure, worried that fans would... Uh, not like the Mandalorian anymore, they wouldn't like her, and then ultimately they wouldn't like Star Wars. That probably wouldn't happen, but I can see where the concern was. So, people were already worried that she would be fired, but she wasn't fired yet. More recently, she keeps going with those strange comments, and then finally, just a couple days ago, she made a comment about that things like mask mandates are similar or exactly the same, as the Holocaust. What? I don't see any similarity between a mask mandate and the Holocaust. Whatever your opinion on it is, I hope we can all agree that there is no similarity between those two things. Either she doesn't know what a mask mandate is, or she doesn't really know what the Holocaust is. Unfortunately, I'll bet those two things exist in the country, but uh, hopefully they aren't uh, mainstream opinions. But that was her opinion. And, um, yeah, I think she should not be criminally punished for that, but I think it was fully in Lucasfilm's right to fire her uh, for saying that kind of thing. I think, uh, now that we have that done, uh, let's talk about the effect that that will have on Star Wars, just kind of having a, a slightly more lighthearted note. Um, I don't think she affected The Mandalorian very much at all. The Mandalorian was mostly Grogu and Din Djarin. Um, that, was, that was really the core of The Mandalorian. They were going for Cara Dune, uh, her, her character, to be a bigger role. But she really didn't affect the storyline much at all. Uh, so I think The Mandalorian, that storyline, will be fine, assuming, um, assuming that continues. Now, the only thing that will be affected by her character is possibly Rangers of the New Republic. I think we all kind of had the opinion that she would be playing at least some role in that show, and possibly that that would even be a Cara Dune storyline. I'm not sure that I would go that far, but I think Rangers of the New Republic will definitely be affected by the absence of Gina Carano. In terms of the larger storyline, I don't think she, uh, her absence probably won't affect it very much. Uh, so I think Star Wars will be fine without her. I think it's okay that she was fired. You might disagree with me, but I think more than anything, it was very stupid of her uh, to continue with these comments and actually go more extreme with them, almost like she didn't care about being fired or not. I'm fine with her being fired, and I think Star Wars will be fine. Thank you for watching, and may the Force be with you.